Oh, by the way, the, uh, under the, here with the arrows, you see how the box transitions into these phases. So these are the eight phases on the top, boxed, and then below it with arrows, what are the transitioning uh, triggers right. that get it to go, right? So uh, pre-flight is upon establishment of AC power. Uh, takeoff would be when you select the thrust levers to flex or toga with the slats extended. Okay, so you're taking off. Climb is at the acceleration altitude. So whenever you get to the acceleration altitude, and I demonstrate this in the sim, when we go in there, I'm going to show you, look, the acceleration altitude in the box is 1,014 feet. Check your altimeter coming up at 1,014, and you'll see it flip over into the climb. And then when we get to cruise, that's upon reaching the cruise altitude that we program. The descent is descent uh, from cruise altitude within 200 nautical miles of the destination. So if, for example, you're coming into Miami, you're within 200 miles, and you begin to descend, and the box goes into the descent phase. Um, then you get into approach when you get two different ways, what we call circle D or manual activation of the approach phase. Usually in sim world, we just do manual activation. The other way is what you say, what we call circle D. So on the Airbus, on the navigation display, you have your aircraft symbol, you got your green line, and then oftentimes you have a D like this. And the D stands for D cell point, which is basically where the aircraft is going to slow down from 250 knots to green dot in preparation for the approach. And um, what happens, the way this Airbus is programmed, is that it plans top of descent from cruise all the way down uh, to landing and at about the 10,000 foot mark somewhere, you end up with this circle D, which is the beginning of your speed reduction. The issue is that rarely do we ever let it actually do what's planned because this descent planning assumes a zero traffic environment. Yeah. And what ends up happening, of course, here is that they say, no, climb, um, maintain altitude for traffic, turn left, turn right, maintain 280 in the descent, or going into Vegas, what they do, or Chicago, it's like 250 knots until the numbers, basically. They have all these crazy things. And so actually working with the automation is exactly how it's designed doesn't work too well. So for environmental reasons um, of the operating environment, we don't rely on the circle D. But for an oral exam answer, you would want to say that the um, approach phase in the McDo would be entered upon reaching the circle D, which is the deceleration point, that's the equivalent, you could say reaching the deceleration point, or manual activation within the box. The go around is with toga with the flaps extended, and then of course the done is the last one, which is 20 seconds after landing. Well, a flight control law is a set of rules by which to govern flight controls of attack protection, including stall protection, including roll protection. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. It is 2.52 a.m. The mission is to positively impact every pilot, every mechanic, and every flight attendant on planet Earth. Period. Period.